Let's start with our group uh, that we've started, which is the Brand Me Bootcamp group. How many people are not? Hold on. It's a trick question. You got to be listening. How many people are not in the Brand Me Bootcamp group? Not. You got to get in the group. Me, I'm not. Bill says. Judith TF. Yeah, am I doing it right? Okay. Oh, no. Not, not too many knots. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do it here live. <clears throat> let me go to that Facebook group and let me copy the link to share with you all. Copy link. Let me put it here in the chat. Too many knots. Here it is. All right. If you said not, if you raised your hand inside the chat, I have the link. You can go directly to it. You can request access to the Brand Me Bootcamp group. Got it? Just click it. That's all you need to do. Okay? Click it. You're in. Hi, Chewbacca. <clears throat> all right. Maybe put it done here. I like it. Awesome. Just joined. Okay. So look a little bit about that group is the brand me boot camp. Is it really? I mean, team, how could you do that to Miles? <laughs> you ain't got him in a group. What's wrong with you? I'm just playing. Hey, man. <laughs> Get Miles in the group. All right. Look, uh, inside of the group, there is a video so that you can kind of watch the video. It'll tell you everything that's going on in the Brand Me Bootcamp. It actually starts on the 24th, so July 24th. However, up until then, we're going to post like a daily tip <clears throat> or a poll or something to keep everybody uh, interacting with one another and kind of an opportunity to give you a chance to introduce yourself to that group. We have every language in that group, okay? So we have English, German, and French inside of that group, if y'all noticed. Anybody notice? Yeah? All right. So um, what's it called? Facebook will translate it for you, like, uh, you know, the posts that are in there. Make sure that you still share some love with people who speak maybe a different language. Give them a heart. Say hello. We'll be running... Uh, different times for different trainings in different languages, okay? Um, CM versus now site results will go out today, Dan. So I'll send them out in an email and I'll post them inside of the Facebook group, okay? It's pretty It's pretty close. I can't release the uh, numbers yet. I'm waiting for the uh, approval of Justin, but it's, it's super duper close, okay? All right. So look, we have... Uh, that group that's there, you are free to invite anybody that you'd like to that group. Does everybody know that? I don't want to get too heavy into the group. You're free to invite as many people as you'd like into the brand new boot camp group. Do me a solid, a favor, a thing, okay? Don't just start randomly adding 200 people to the group. Please don't do that because it's like a, an, an admin nightmare where I got to be like, nope, 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 no, no. Like, I don't want anybody in the group that doesn't want to be in the group, right? So at least tell them a bit about the group and have them like kind of say, yeah, I would like to be in there. You know, like, it's not even like a pre-qualified, like you don't need to ask them anything other than, hey, would you like to join this group? Is there a training or a script on, hey, would you like to join the Brammy Boot Camp group? share with them the flyer, right? And Judy, I'll, I'll get to your question there in a second. I just want to make sure that, that the person that you are inviting, right, knows that they're going into the group is all. Everybody understand? Because if I start tagging, like I, I like to do an at everyone or tag people in something. And the last thing I want is how did I get into this group? What is going on? Why am I here? Why are you tagging me? And kind of bringing my whole vibe down. 
I like to keep the vibe like way up here. I don't know if you noticed, but it's a real thing. Cool. Everybody got it? Uh-huh. Why are you doing it? Ah. Okay, cool. Write this down. On Thursday, I'll put it in your notes in your phone, right, Heem? Um, on Thursday at noon Eastern time, we are going to have a Facebook Live with our founder and CEO, Justin Bellababa. You're all invited. Obviously, it's going to be live on our Facebook page. We are going to do uh, probably release email campaigns, like instant email campaigns where more than one email, right? Instant email campaigns. We're going to talk about onboarding. We are also going to release the Brand Me Bootcamp topic schedule. All right. So, you know, it'll be like the 24th will be this topic, the 25th, the 26th, the 27th, right? I love how DePaul asks. <laughs> DePaul, I caught you sleeping. But you could just say, like, hey, what is it? Come on out and talk to me. I thought we were cool. Um, it it is Thursday. So Thursday, what is today? The 13th, right? We're gonna have the um um. Hold on. Okay. It's noon Eastern time on Thursday. Okay. Noon Eastern time, Thursday. All right, cool. Thank you. There he is. Hey. <laughs> hey, I feel so special. She she was just waiting on you, Ryan. I see that. I was I was being stubborn. <laughs> she hadn't started anything. She was waiting on you to show up at Chewbacca. Hey, I had a question for you. Oh, and out loud too. I'm so excited. Yeah, yes. yeah. I was thinking about I was on DM you with this, but it, it might be able to help everybody. So with inviting people to the Brand Me Boot Camp. Yeah. Can you make like a, a, a capture page for this? Okay, so I don't want to, you know, create the friction of it. And I, I would kind of treat it as if it was like an ad tag message group. Is everybody familiar gotcha. with okay. that message? So if you're not familiar with an ad tag message, that's okay. We can ch ch chat about it now. But it's basically like, hey, we have, uh, yeah, ATM, right? You're going to add somebody to the group. You're going to tag them in the announcement post. That's that video of me that I'm like, hello, this is what the group is all about. This is what you can expect. Tag them inside of that post so they can kind of get to know everybody and do the call to action. Some of you did a fantastic like job. I don't know. Uh, I think I'm in a different time zone or whatever. So it's like three or four in the morning when I don't know what time it is and I can't sleep. So I'm kind of scrolling and reading and learning a bit about everybody. I think that that's cool. I love the intros that everybody's doing in that group. So if you're not in that group, join the group. And if you haven't done like a little intro, uh, Sherry, I loved your picture, by the way. That was like really, really good, right? Like I was like, oh, there's Sherry. So good. So please join the group or, you know, add tag, right? And then message, you know, uh, your person and say, hey, you're, you know, a part of the group. What my what our goal is there, of course, is to uh, let the person that you're inviting kind of feel that community vibe that we have. And one of my favorite things about Mousesite is our community. If it's you too, drop me a one here in the chat. I think we have an amazing community of, of people and you all do a fantastic job supporting one another. So make that a part of it, right? Let people kind of see the community and the level of training that we that we have here and the the uh, level of people that are doing the training so i think that's cool so really long answer to paul <laughs> right good question it was the first question of of how to tuesday and i loved it awesome all right so like i said Okay, we do have a beautiful community. It's so fantastic, right? So like I was saying, 
you can invite anybody that you'd like to that group. Just um, make sure that you get in there and you are participating in that group. We have a, a huge lineup for you guys. On Thursday, we're going to have a special event with our founder and CEO, Justin Bellababa here. And for the first time ever, I noticed that he was here and I don't know if he was. I was like, oh, there's his actual name, name. I noticed it, but um, he's going to be there. We're going to talk about, about we're going to give you a battle update. We are also going to talk about onboarding email campaigns, and we're going to lay out the schedule for the Brand Me Bootcamp on Thursday. So a lot to look forward to uh, during that day. It's right here, 12 noon Eastern time. Cool? Everybody got it? Great. Okay. Is this anybody's very first time to our training? Drop a me here in the chat if this is your very, very first time um, to our now site training. So a couple new faces, new people. Hi, David. Welcome. Oh, hold on. Hi, David. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Mike. We have Oliver too. We have W. Dale. Hello. New. That was like, wow, Mark. Hello. Daniel. Hello. Lawrence, you're new too. Awesome. Fantastic. Everybody give a great big welcome to all these people who are uh, new. Hi, Terry. First time. That's okay. No video showing. I know what that's like. Sometimes I don't want to be on video either. I'm like, this is not a good hair day. Uh, oh, I'm just. <laughs> all right. Hey, hey, I don't want to hear you talking about good hair days. Now. Hair days. You don't have any. <laughs> there you go. Um, great big welcome. Awesome. <laughs> If so, what's your prize? I don't know. You get to be like um, the fan of the day, Daniel. How about that one? Hi, Bill. Do you have a question? You can come on out and, and chat with us. Not right now. Oh, I thought you were just, oh, you're just raising a hand. Hello. It's nice to see you. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do today is we're going to get you all started off on the right foot. We're going to welcome you to our community. We're also going to go through right? Little things that you can do to get started with your now site account. Okay. By the end of this, you're going to go, wow, that now site thing is easy. I'm amazing. I'm building websites and everything in an instant. Okay. All right. What I'm going to do or start to do is share my screen and we're going to go through it together. And of course, don't worry, I'll make sure to answer all the questions at the end. This is inside of my now site account. Yours looks exactly the same way. You can go to now.site, click on login and log in with the email address and password you used when becoming a now site customer. When you do, you can shuffle right on over to the beautiful Magenta AI button that's there for you. <clears throat> and right here under business profiles, we're gonna create a business profile for your business. Okay, it takes just a second. You might have one that's already in there that happened when you were onboarded. Okay, but I'm gonna share with you uh, anyway. You can obviously have as many business profiles as you'd like, an abundance of them. You can see the abundance that I have right here too, okay? All right. Uh, so, uh, I'll answer your question in a second there, Dan, okay? All right, we're gonna click to add new and we're gonna name our business, okay? You can put the name of your business here. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name it Coco's Health and Wellness. Just super simple. You can name your business whatever you'd like. Maybe you have a business name, put it in here. And then we're gonna describe the main product. And I'm gonna say I help people make healthy choices for uh, any ah, lifestyle. Something super simple, right? I don't have to be a pro. I'm just going to kind of describe that main product in one simple sentence and click on create. And I'm going to let the AI do the work for me. While it's sitting here, what it's doing is it's creating a much better description than what I provide, right? But you can provide maybe one sentence, a bit about your business, and we're going to give you a great main description of your product. We're also going to give you some great keywords. We're going to give you fonts. We're going to give you colors. 
and you can use those uh, for your business, okay? So we're gonna just wait for that one to generate. Okay, see it? So here, right, we have the business name that I put and we have the main product. So I just put something really, really simple. You can do the same. Anything can be changed. So it just says, I help people make healthy choices for any lifestyle. What I like here is the colors that are given to me, right? I have this green here with blue. I can change it if I have maybe my own branding hex colors, but I would really recommend, look, use the ones that are given to you uh, by AI. They're, ch they're chosen for you um, based on the business that you have. It's super intelligent. So if you don't already have them, try to leave them uh, close to the colors that are chosen for you, okay? This one says, Coco's Health and Wellness is a cutting edge enterprise focusing on actionable improvement of individual health initiatives. Nestled in the nexus of lifestyle enhancement and preventative health care, our services empower clients towards responsible informed decisions, fostering a culture of well-being that transcends conventional approaches. Leveraging insights from extensive research into the, into the dynamic field of nutrition science, we create tailored programs that cater to various lifestyles. And it goes on and on in a really great, complete business description. Now, I want to hear from you, okay? <laughs> awesome. I want to hear from you. Did the AI do a better job than me in the business description? If you think so, Drop me a five here in the chat. Did the AI do a better job than me in the business description? Oh, my feelings are so hurt. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, man. How could you? I'm just joking. Fives. Every oh, thanks, Brett. <laughs> Brett said every single time. It really does a great job every single time, right? So... Look, you don't have to be the expert. You just have to understand that the AI is going to do an amazing job and kind of go with it. You can edit it or change it. But what I love is going, hey, I'm going to rely on the expert and the expert being the artificial intelligence, right? So, all right. <laughs> Thanks, Jennifer. Love you. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So it's not for people, Terry, right? It's just for you. It was just for you to create a great um, description of your business, even if it doesn't sound like something you, you would write, right? It's to create a great business description for you, then you can add it to your website. Or um, it will take that content and create a great website for you. You can edit it. You can change it. You can add to it. You can work with it if it's something that you want to do. So just as an example here, right? This entire thing would be the business description. Okay. I can open up the little AI button by clicking on the little, you know, AI that's there. I think I could paste it in here, right? And I can say something like, can you make this shorter? It was too long. I think people will zone out. Okay. Just ask, can you make this shorter? Then it's shorter, right? I can say something like, can you make this less formal? Okay, and I can choose it. And then at any time, I can even add a bit or take away a bit of whatever it is that I like. And what do I do? I just click on save. Okay. So now I have a great business profile for my business. Now, by show of hands, everybody that's new, not new, can you do this? Yes, here in the chat. Yeah, you can ask it whatever you'd like, Yvonne, for sure. Of course you can. Yeah. 
right? Everybody could do that part and do anything special yet. Or maybe not the entire time that I'm here. You'll see, right? It'll be super duper simple, okay? <clears throat> awesome. All right. So now that I have a great business profile and you all answered yes. So if you answered yes, that you could do this, all I did was put my name. All I did was one sentence in a, in my main product. Then I'm going to show you how you can build a website. Okay. So I go on over to marketing and I'm going to use my AI website generator. So I click to add new. And what I do is basically just fill in the blanks here, okay? So just answer the questions. Business profile. I'm going to do Coco's Health and Wellness. And for my website name, I just kind of repeat it, right? Because I want to be able to easily find it. And then for my tone, I'm just going to choose friendly and professional, all right? And my URL, I'm just going to choose CHW, Coco's Health and Wellness, right? Choose whatever you want. And then the URL will be chw.now.site. And I'm just going to click the magenta button to build my AI website. So I just want to share with you that there isn't anything here that, you know, you can't do. Okay, so here's Coco's Health and Wellness. I'm just going to save it. And I'm going to preview, right? Here's Coco's Health and Wellness. What we have here is font and color that was chosen for me, okay? I have a great description of this business here. I have some testimonials. I have a contact us section in the brand color that was chosen. I have some services that are listed here and a meet the team section. So what I have is a professional website designed for me by artificial intelligence that literally took me just a click, right? To create, okay? <clears throat> how would you put things on uh, not supposed to be in the okay all right here we go now look did I do anything that you can't do so far no right not at all I just was I just followed the directions and kind of filled in the blanks and I have a beautiful, great website, right? So I want you to all feel empowered and say to yourself, yeah, I can do that because you can do it. And it's super simple for as many businesses as you have. Now, I know we're kind of getting some questions here in the chat. I'm going to see which ones. I always make sure that we have time to get the questions answered, Right. Um, but if they, if they align with what we're already discussing, then I would be happy to, uh, answer the question. Okay. A button publish would be helpful that way we could preview changes before publishing. Okay. So th this is a, a kind of great, uh, suggestion here or, or something that I can make everybody aware of, right? People ask like this public or pre publish or preview, right? I save the website. I can preview the website, anything that I want. It's published now, right? You can go to chw.now.site. It's there. Is anybody going to see or perhaps fall upon your website in the preview phase of your website before or while you're making changes? You didn't share it with anybody yet, right? So right? As long as you, you save it, you have to, there's no reason to not have it be published or public or something like that, right? It's not like, um, hi, Chris Miller. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Chris. Okay. So it's not like Chris is going to be like, let me go, you know, try and find Cheryl Coco's website in the meantime. So it's fine. Okay. 
You can make as many changes as you want on the fly. If I can change it, please show an example. Uh, Yvonne, sure. So if I want to change the layout or I want to change kind of um, the website altogether, you know, the kind of layout, there's, you can choose to have a website, a sales funnel, or a landing page here, right? So Coco's Health and Wellness. Oh. I'm just gonna say, uh, I don't know. Sales funnel. CHWSF. Okay, I can choose sales funnel and it'll choose a different kind of layout for my website. Right, or a different style that might suit me best, okay? So you can choose, and you could obviously build as many websites as you'd like. So feel free, you can build a sales funnel, a landing page, right? So here, it will kind of look like this, is your uh, sales funnel. We're gonna preview and look at it together, right? I can enter my name, my email address, uh, and click the learn more button. And it will go on to this page. So it's a different layout, right? So hopefully that helps. I was looking for the visibility settings, phone, PC on the website settings. Is it gone? Uh, no. It's still there. It's always there here. Phone. Right? Phone, desktop kind of settings here. Great question. Don't you need a domain to get to your website? So we all use .now .site, so you can kind of see, um, I'll show you inside of my own account. You can see, right, the moment that you make a website, it's chwsf, just like we chose .now .site, .now .site, okay? July 2023.now.site. As long as you click on save, then it's published. Okay. Terry, I think I answered your question there. Yvonne, yes. Lisa, do you have a question, uh, especially about uh, the websites? Um, no, I have a question about prospecting, but I can hold it if you want to stick to this yeah. for now. Yeah. Apex, I saw your question. I'm just sticking to right the website. We're going to move on over to prospecting. And of course, as you know, right, been to plenty of my trainings. I answer all the questions, okay? So I'll give you a chance to get your question answered. Yep. So Felicia says, for someone who ha already has a website provided by our company, can you walk us through how to create a sales funnel to it? Which is a great question, right? I, I Felicia, I love the question. So we saw the sales funnel that I just uh, created for health and wellness, right? So it was this one. Where's my friend Felicia at? Felicia, can you chit-chat with me? Yep. Hey, hi. Hey, hi. <laughs> I really love your question. I think it's fantastic, right? So here's my CHW, my Coco's Health and Wellness Sales Funnel. I'm just going to click to edit so that you can see it, right? This was just built for me using the Instant AI. Did you see me build it? Yep. Okay, cool. So 
this is, remember I opted in right to this page so that I was kind of collecting the leads or creating a list, which is really important, right? If, even if I already have a website provided to me by maybe a network marketing company or an affiliate marketing company, you know what I mean? Right. Okay. So once I get to the landing page that's here, so they opt in, they can learn more. And let's say right here, you now want to take them to purchase a product or the sales page that's given to you by that specific company to purchase the product, right? Yeah. And I, I'm going to, I'm just going to use just the name of a company for, as an example, nobody get their feelings hurt, right? Let's say this was like live good or something, right? And I, I would just replace this button text with my affiliate link here. Do you see where, where I kind of highlighted? Yes. Right. So what I'm doing when I create that sales funnel is I'm building my list, I'm giving a bit of info about my, my business or whatever. And then I could on the second page kind of button out to my uh, affiliate or network marketing company website that's given to me. Okay. Cool. So yep. that's exactly how I would do it. Right. And you could do it in multiple spots if you'd like. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Great question. I, I really love it. Thanks. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> All right. Okay. So the, once we have a great website or sales funnel, whatever it is that you'd like to build, right? How can we add a cookie banner? Should we have our own privacy policy? Okay. So if you want to add a cookie banner, you can do so just by activating GDPR settings here. And that will create that like, you know, allow or cookie kind of setting here. I'm going to tell you, if you do not need to do it, right? Like if it's not like a company requirement or something, or you're not, you know, in another country that requires it, def I don't see any reason why you would do it. It just kind of creates friction that is just not needed. Okay. All right. Uh, here is how can I delete a page that I no longer want? Uh, on my blog, the delete button is grayed out. So if you, you want to delete a page altogether, right here, delete. You can share the template with somebody. You could delete it. You could duplicate it. If there's a page that you want to delete, like if I just want to delete this page, I can delete it. If there's a section that you want to delete, right? You can delete an entire section if you want to, just by hitting the trash can. There's delete button anywhere that you'd like. Yeah, an EU cookie banner is required, so that's the GDPR. Cool. All right. Look, I'm going to move on to the next topic. Of course, we're going to come back. I'm going to make sure that you guys have enough time to uh, answer or get all of your questions answered. And they're great so far. I think you guys are doing a phenomenal job. Okay. Look, we have a great website. We have a great business profile that we've created. We have great branding. We're awesome. And now we say to ourselves, well, I'd like to start prospecting, right, for my business. Okay. I want to get to meet new people, whatever that it looks like uh, here. So what do I do? I can go to the prospect section. And the way that I do that, especially the, the very first time, if you hit get prospect, it'll pull up a screen for you to uh, edit your prospect settings. But I'm going to go to contacts. Hmm. And I'm going to go to my prospects here. And here you can see my prospect targeting, all right? And what I tend to do here 
is I use the AI kind of like my consultant. I don't need to be the expert or, you know, that saying, don't be the tool, use the tools. I don't need to be the expert. I just need to know how to, right, use the tools. So what I do is I open the AI prospect targeting and I kind of rely on it. <laughs> I kind of rely on it to give me the answers as to who I should be prospecting for my business, okay? So what I do is I drop down my business profile and I'll just choose Coco's Health and Wellness. And I'll wait for it to uh, give me or act as a consultant to me and give me a great description of who my uh, prospect targeting would look like. That way I don't have to be the expert, right? So gives you a lot of content and info. This is age range, right? The primary age group is likely to fall within 25 to 34 years old. It's going to give me some gender. Uh, women are more inclined. Uh, some info about occupation, lifestyle, education level. I can choose to click this uh, interest and skills button here. See it where the little finger is, right? And I'm going to say, find interests and skills related to health and wellness. And this gives me like healthy eating, uh, healthy coaching, holistic medicine. I think this is great. I'm just going to copy it here. Okay. So now, right, I'm not the expert. I just kind of use that AI as this amazing guide to me. And I start to fill in the blanks again. So when it asks me to tell, tell us about your perfect prospect, what I like to say is really to get started, less is more here. All right. So do I have to choose a city? Like, Felicia, can I chat with you for a second? <laughs> hey. Yes. Uh-huh. Hi. So Felicia, can you tell me what kind of business you're in? Um, so it's mental wellness, physical and mental wellness. Okay. And you were saying you have kind of like an affiliate link base. Is that? Yes. Right? Yeah. We already have a nice website set up. Okay. So inside of your like uh, company or business, right. Do you have to prospect in your city? Mm, no. Okay. Not right. at all. Yeah. Okay. So can you be in the United States as a whole? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Thank you, Felicia, by the way. We're, we're <laughs> global, actually. So we, we're in a lot of countries. <laughs> awesome. Okay. okay. Th that's great. Um, is it network marketing? Do you mind if I ask? Yes, it is. Uh, can you tell me the name of the business? <laughs> Amari, <laughs> Amari Global. Okay. Amari Global. Great. All right. So what we what we know about this specific business right is a mental health wellness great business congratulations um look does felicia have to go well i felicia where are you from um well we live in utah okay so I'm does felicia have to go okay i need this person to be from utah absolutely not right she can though do okay let me stick inside of the united states here Maybe like go country to country. So I'm just saying that to, to everybody here specifically, like if you don't need to be in the city and the state, then there's no reason to put it, right? Unless you really like are like, well, I may be in real estate or something that might, you know, more speak to you. So leave it a bit open. Inside of interests and skills, I just kind of copied and pasted what was given to me here, right? Uh, healthy eating, physical fitness, yoga, meditation, stress management, holistic medicine, weight training, nutrition, education, running, health coaching. Awesome. And I stuck to female here. Now, even though the uh, AI acted as a guide and told me different things like job title, education, industry, less is more. So I don't have to put everything in here. I want to start with something simple. And I can kind of niche down as I go along if I choose to, okay? okay. I do want to um, go inside of that age range though. So instead of selecting all, I'm going to 
maybe choose. I think it said uh, like, I, I can't remember if it was like 25 to 50 or so, but I'm gonna stick maybe inside of these two areas. Okay. Okay. And here, what I like to do is if there's a list here, or I can attach this to a list. What I what I want to do is save this search, and I'm going to name the search. Guess what I'm going to name it? Coco's Health and Wellness. Right. <laughs> Let me keep it really simple. So, Coco's Health and Wellness, and I want to save it right here. Okay. And you could do the same. And now we're going to start to prospect. I'm going to click to get a prospect. And we have Ashley, all right? But this isn't like your, I don't know, it's not like buying a list from somewhere or something where you like get an email address and you move on with your life and you just start like hammering these people with information about your business and you're just hoping that someone buys, right? We actually know who Ashley is, okay? We have her email address, we have her phone number, we have her age range, we have education, industry, company, job title. We have her interests and skills here. And we also have her personality, which is going to help us craft a message to Ashley. All right. So I'm going to click to launch sales AI. And I'm actually going to reach out to Ashley via LinkedIn. I, I believe you get like great results using LinkedIn, um, making it social, keeping it super simple, but I'm not going to be the expert here. I'm going to let AI be the expert for me. Okay, so here, right, I'm going to make sure that my AI generated message is all about Coco's health and wellness. I'm going to connect with Ashley. I'm going to keep it friendly. And I actually want to use some attachments here. So I'm going to open this attachment here. And I'm going to maybe grab a link to my website and I can paste it here. And I'm going to call it Coco's Health and Wellness. Now, when I do this, what I'm doing is I'm creating a trackable link for my business. What does a trackable link mean? It means that if Ashley clicks on this link, I will get a hot lead notification. It will say to me, hey, Cheryl, Ashley's clicking on your link. It's kind of like this notification. It's like, hello, you can put in any website, any YouTube video, Vimeo, any link that you have, you can make it trackable in this section. I'm going to click to add it. And oh, I'm going to click to add it here. So now it has the little check mark. It's going to use my attachment, but it's also going to craft a message using Ashley's personality. We know that Ashley is a dynamic visionary who is spontaneous. So no longer do I have to be like, well, what's the script book that I have to use on every single person? If I would you, right? What I can do is I have a message that's tailored to Ashley that introduces my business, but also uses her personality or takes her personality into consideration. So each time I introduce my business, I kind of get a script right here using artificial intelligence that's based on that prospect's personality. Okay. So check this out, right? I'm going to preview the message. And this says, hello, Ashley, imagine a life where health and fun coexist. At Coco's Health and Wellness, we offer personalized plans tailored just for you. Step into an energ energetic tomorrow with us. Our team is eager to meet you. Here's our page. It's a trackable link. Okay. Inside of this message, it's tailored, right? Remember to her, to Ashley, to kind of appeal to Ashley. So I don't need to be the expert. I'm just going to let AI be the expert. And I'm going to say fantastic. So now if my ne next prospect is Dan or my next prospect is Tina, what's going to happen is AI is going to take their personality into consideration and change up that script for me. All right. What I do next is I click on send and I'm going to go to LinkedIn and it's going to pull up Ashley Michelle Patterson, who's fantastic, right? They're real people, obviously. And what I get to do is click on more and connect with Ashley. 
And I'm going to add that note that was given to me here. Okay. And even though I don't have a health and wellness business, just so that you can see it here, I'm just going to go ahead and click on send. All right. So I don't need to have an upgraded version of LinkedIn for this or anything like that, right? I can always send a connect a message. And here, did you send a message successfully? The answer is yes. And I can go back to my home screen. And now I can kind of simplify this process, right? I can click get a prospect because my prospecting is already set up, right? I don't have to go through that whole thing again. I get Danielle, okay, a little different. I launch Sales AI. And what I like to do here is just adapt to personality. Right, so here's a great message. I can say use adapted text. This is a little long for me um, here. So I may just... Right, kind of edit it a bit, that's okay. But I have a great way to start. I got some feedback happening. Gotcha, okay. And what do I do? Everybody together, I click on send. I go to LinkedIn, I wait for my prospect to come up, but now the script has changed to fit Danielle's personality, which was different than Ashley's personality. I click on more, connect, add a note, I paste, right? And then I send and I can make it really, really simple. So that's the prospecting part of it. What's amazing no, or I would say super unique about sales AI and about prospecting inside of now site is that it's unlike any other prospecting tool that you've seen. We have the world's largest searchable prospect database of 2.2 billion people. You are not getting some washed up uh, like email list from someone, right? That you're just, okay, let me try to hammer this list out. You get real contact information from real people, and you also get their personality, and you get to use artificial intelligence to craft a great script to send to them to introduce you or your business, right? So something to think about, I wanted to share with you, okay? I know that there are some questions uh, that people have to ask, but I wanted you to be confident in navigating through the system. If you follow along with what I said and you continue here, what I wanted to share with you is just in a few minutes, what you're able to do is create a business profile for any business that you have. And that's not all, right? Not only are you able to create a, an amazing business profile, you can create a website instantly, a sales funnel, a landing page, okay? You can also begin to prospect for your business. Now, that's all fantastic, right? Let me just plug this in. That's amazing. But there's somebody here that said to themselves, even though it's super simple, I might not be techie. Or maybe I want to change something. Or maybe I want to add something, but I'm really just not sure how. What I don't want you to get stuck doing is I don't want you to get stuck struggling in a place where you do not need to struggle because there's not one second where you should have to struggle with and now say, we have so many great resources available to you. And one of my favorite resources is our marketing experts, okay? So what I wanna do and share with you before I get to the next uh, bit of questions is you see this button right here it says marketing services. It is magical beyond belief, okay? Click on it. If you could dream it, they can do it, okay? They're amazing people. It's real people on the other side of this, okay? We have incredible marketing experts. So let's say you're like, ah, I wanna change this image on my website, but I'm not sure how. 
you can ask them to do it for you. It doesn't take them months. It maybe takes them like two days or so, if that, okay? They're fantastic. You just explain to them exactly what you want. Hey, can you change this image for me? Hey, can you change this text for me? If you are on our unlimited plan, this is all included inside of your plan at no extra cost. So look at this and click to get started. And I can just tell the expert exactly what I want. You can write full, complete sentences. We're actually reading it. It could be as simple as, I'm not sure how to get this link into a button, to I have a website, can you duplicate it for me here? I'm envisioning this, can you do it for me here? The answer, right? Yes, they do a phenomenal job, okay? Go write your emails, blogs, anything that you want. I don't want to overlook this section because they do a phenomenal job and there is somebody here, right? As much as we go into detail and I say, oh, it's simple. You can click this button. If you get stuck, don't stay stuck. Ask them just, hey, can you do it for me? And guess what they're going to be like? Sure. There's so, I promise you, there's, they're way nerdier, right? Than you can imagine. Like, I'm like, ooh, yay, <laughs> a website that I can fix or change. Like that's them, okay? So feel free, let them know that you need some help and they will do it for you. All right, with that being said, look, I always like to take some time. I know we've gone a little over, that's okay. Look, um, you can raise your hand. You can ask any question. You guys can come on out. You can hang out uh, with me. Just use the little reaction button. It's at the bottom of the Zoom so that I don't skip over you, okay? And I'll be happy to answer any question uh, that you have, okay? All right. Uh, Lisa, who has been super patient, by the way. Lisa, kudos to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> sure. You're worth waiting for. Thank you, love. <laughs> Um, I have two questions. One has to do with finding people with the prospecting and the other has to do with results. So um, I enrolled somebody who was having an event coming up in Provo, Utah. Mm -hmm. So uh, we went in and put in network marketing companies as the business and found plenty of prospects. So, mm -hmm. you know, we maybe put in four or five different names of companies, found prospects, sent them a message. I have an event coming up in New York City next month. So tried the same thing. We are finding zero prospects in New York City. Mm -hmm. And then we expanded it to the whole state of New York. Still got goose eggs. Is there something you know, know about that? Mm -hmm. So... There's got to be something in the search that's narrowing because obviously New York is large, right? So what we're going to do is kind of take a look and see what's narrowing. So Lisa, if you could put your email address here in the chat, I'm going to uh, see if there's something that I can do or help you with in uh, this short amount of time. However, if you do get the, the goose egg or whatever it is, I know that we have a screen that says get live help. And when you do, um, thanks, Lisa. Can I take this one? Oh, yes. Sure. He shows so, up like Superman. Um, I I, hey, nice to meet you, Lisa. Hey, uh, I'm Justin. I'm the founder of Nassite. Um, I'm just in your account. I think I'm in your account, at least. Are you... Um, is it natural body balance? Is that the one? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, anyway, the thing to remember, and this is, this is like a really important thing for everybody, is that every field that you use, okay, think of the word, like, think of the word and mm -hmm. between every field that you use, okay? So if I say United States, and then under interest, I put network marketing. I'm looking for someone in the United States and someone who's interested in network marketing. I'm looking for both things. It's not or. It's not like, oh, I'll give you an American or just someone in you know, the Philippines who's interested in network marketing, okay. right? It's and, which makes sense. We, it is, it is absolutely understandable that 
you would say, and because this is totally logical, right? You would say um, the company is Young Living and you put the interest as network marketing, right? Makes sense. Mm -hmm. However, by doing that, you are saying, I only want the people who are in Young Living who have like somewhere, like on whatever, some profile, some database also said that they're into network marketing. I would suggest that if they're in Young Living, they're all, you already know that they're into network marketing, right? You don't need like that double confirmation. Does that make sense? It does, but th you're seeing the very last search I did, but we did try it with nothing but company names. Yeah. In New York and we're finding nothing. The Young Living one was actually- so the All I can one. look at is the example that I'm looking at right now. Right, right. right? And yeah. that example like jumps, is it, it's, a, it's a very common thing. Um, but right. I, like another really common thing I see is people put interested in network marketing and job title network marketer. It's like, well, yeah, <laughs> you don't yeah. need both because if you have right. one, then by definition, you know, you've got the other, right? So in a lot of cases, what like my best advice for anyone who's using, like who's new to this, this search is it's very powerful, right? Less is more. Yeah. If you don't act like, you know, people will start and think, oh, well, if there's a field there, I better put something into it. Right. No. Right. Yeah, it's, it's not it's beyond not, the, the realm of possibilities that I thought I cleared out all the fields and I did it. <laughs> I'm certain that that's what happened. Okay. Okay. And just for everyone, because I mean, your, your question is, is fantastic, right? right. Um, it has broad applicability. For everyone, less is more. If you don't absolutely need to use a field, then don't then leave it blank, right? Because what we're going to do is we're going to kind of go into this gigantic uh, database that we have, and we're going to pull back like the highest quality people that we can first, like the people where we've got five or six or seven different points of contact, the, the people where we know, you know, 50 other things that they're interested in. Like we're, we're going to do our best to give you like the very, very best people. But the more that you, um, the more fields you use, right. The, the more you kind of, you know, reduce our ability to kind of return great results. So use, use it, use the tool, but the, I, I urge everyone less is more use only the fields that are absolutely necessary. Okay. And yeah. so, I mean, this, and this is a good example of that. So I, you know, I bet that if we were to take out uh, network marketing as an interest and just pull out, you know, and just keep young living there, we'd have no trouble at all. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Justin. Thanks, Lisa. <laughs> Justin flying on in. Hey, Dan, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Cheryl. Hi. I have a number of questions. The first uh, relates to what you said about LinkedIn. My understanding on LinkedIn is that you're limited to the number of messages you can send on LinkedIn to anyone who is not a first level connection unless you have an upgrade, which is counter to what you said. Can you help me understand where I'm going wrong there? Yeah, so um, most people think of the upgrade as like, I can't send a message at all without the upgrade, right? Um, so that way I want people to know you can still send a message, you can send a connect message to people. I know that LinkedIn has some kind of like, um, I guess you can only send so many messages. It's usually a, a good amount. I can't remember uh, the exact amount that it, is. Typically, if they're not a first level connection, it's like 10. Well, no, because we have done um, some uh, LinkedIn stuff before and we would do about 250 a week. Okay. Well, sending I'll, a I'll... message and sending a connection request with a note attached is different. Thank you there, Brett. Sorry. So. A message and sending a connection request with a note attached, definitely different. But sending a message alone, the limits are higher, apparently. Yep. So send the way that um, I was sharing here earlier, which is connect or uh, connect at a note. Okay. All right. Thank and, you. And, 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 you know, hey, I'm on, I'm on a roll, right? So I'll just horn in <laughs> again here. Um, hey. Um, you have the right. 
<laughs> Thanks, Dan. Um, it also, your, your activity level will determine um, how much activity you're able to do in the future, right? So someone with a brand new LinkedIn account or someone, you know, probably a lot of people here, because, you know, we know that from experience, who don't really use their LinkedIn account very much, you know, the number of connect requests that you're going to be able to send in a day or in a week is going to be less, right, than someone who uses it routinely, right? Like if, if you build up your activity, like if you get cut off at, in connect requests at, you know, 50, let's say, don't be discouraged. That's just LinkedIn's algorithm saying, you know, who, like, who is this? We don't know this person. This is an unusual level of activity, right? So we're going to kind of, you know, limit their activity for the next 24, 48 hours. Okay. No big deal. Facebook back, ma you know, max it out again. And what you'll see is over the, for over like 30 days, maybe 60 days, you're going to see that as you build up that track record of activity, LinkedIn, and this, you know, the same is true with Facebook, um, is going to give you more and more um, uh, room to generate increasing levels of activity. So the whole thing is consistency, right? And, the, you know, the best time to start that would have been, you know, a year or two ago, right? The second best time is right now. Now, right. All right. Thank you. I appreciate that. I have, I have a handful of questions relating to the contact mapping folks. I, I just want to clarify a couple of things. Um, as it stands, those people who were customers of contact mapping have no access to NowSite unless they subscribe, right? Right. Okay. And the promotion that we talked about, the $39 for a year, is the one they would subscribe to? Yes. Assuming okay. that they want to save some money. Right, exactly. Um, what do the contact mapping people, customers know about NowSite? Do they know as much about us as we do about contact mapping, which is minimal? How, so, how well have they been prepped is kind of- Well, I mean, look, look, I, I, you know, it's going to vary, right? Some people who are very plugged in are going to know a lot. They'll have come to the demos that we did every single day. Some people who never check their email won't know anything, right? Um, but a lot of, of communications have gone out from Adrian, who's the uh, the founder and CEO of uh, of contact mapping, um, and his team. Like they they've sent literally dozens of communications um, and. As part of this this effort that we have right now, where where you know folks who who made some sales last month, we actually you know provided a list of um, contact mapping users um, for you to kind of you know go and, and introduce yourself. Adrian has also sent a series of messages you know about this initiative, introducing you by name, I believe, Cheryl. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so. You know, we I can't obviously I can't guarantee that everyone reads their email, right? Like no, that's course. not right. But they have been. They have had but there have been dozens of of communications and live demos. So there should there should be like the average person will have an awareness um okay. of the fact that there's this, you know, this acquisition and a change is coming and you know you'll you'll be contacted, right? Um, but of course that's gonna vary. Thank you, Justin. So at this point, I think two of the drip campaign messages have gone out. Okay. I have received, would I receive a reply in my email? Yes. Okay. I've received nothing. Does that okay. surprise? Does that surprise you? Or Not even a little bit. bit. No. No. Um, look, I, I wish it was going to be that easy. Right. Well, and I'm not expecting that it will be. I plan to do more follow up. Yeah, I just want to be sure I'm not missing something. No, you're not. No, I like we. You know, we we tend to, uh, you know, <laughs> messages uh, take you know ten or twenty or thirty um, uh, uh, exposures before they start to penetrate. So it's 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 not an overnight thing, right? Um, the more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. Uh, the thing the thing to understand about this list, though. Uh, you know, you you could not ask for a better um, opportunity. These are folks who are network marketers, affiliate marketers, almost like exclusively. Um, they are using a technology product, 
right, for their, their marketing efforts. So they're already, we know that they're network marketers that are into technology and that technology, uh, pro, that, that tool that they're using is going away and we are the acquirer of it, right? So it is, it's a fabulous opportunity, um, but there will be some amount of work, you know, needed. Uh, and I, I get that. And one thing, one thing that you that you might consider doing, we we we've provided email address. If you were to enhance, uh, use our tool to enhance the contacts, you may be able to find other things, right? Understood. Like that phone was number, kind of plan. LinkedIn profile or uh, social media profiles. But even if you don't, I would reach out to them over social media as well, right? There's no, there's nothing stopping anyone from taking that step. Right. Like these days, people, you're a lot more likely to get a reply over social media than to, you know, an email. Right. So I would I would encourage that for sure. OK, that that's that makes perfect sense. I just wanted to be sure that I wasn't missing something. My final question is I was under the impression, perhaps erroneously, um, I got on to what would have been July 2023. Um, now to outside to talk about what the promotion was, where we were getting contact mapping contacts um, based on the number of new subscribers we brought in. I thought it was 20 contact mapping subscribers per each new subscriber we brought in. Do I misunderstand that? Because I got and there was about a, there was about a four or five day period where we um, where we increased it to 20, but I, I, like. It was 10 most of the month. Okay. So maybe I didn't bring in, I thought I had, but okay. okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank All you, right, Justin. Cheryl, back to you. Thanks, man. <laughs> nope. Um, I'm just kidding. Thank you. Uh, the Apex. I think he's running on over. Okay. So here's my question. Um, Trying to take full advantage of the uh, super PAC, there's an option in there to do an SMM, SMS message, text message. Um, but in order to do that, it wants you to, to have a drip campaign. And so I wanted to know, would it be better just to ask the nurse to do it? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah. Look, right? If, if you are unsure in any way and like ask them to do it that way, like you can see the setup, you can see the way that they kind of lay it out and you can be within the guidelines of SMS, which kind of is, if you're new to SMS, I'll say this, if you're new to SMS, then it could be difficult to understand those guidelines. Anything from capitalization to different styles of punctuation to links, can um, get you into a, a, a situation where your text message doesn't get sent. So I would start, right, if you're new to it, start by asking for help and have them uh, set it up for you. Okay, so then my other question is, yeah. because it sounds like it's monitored by another third party the same way our emails are. Mm -hmm. So um, is there a workaround around that? No. Mm, okay. Yeah, like you can't put like join for free, all caps, blah blah blah, like with links flying. That's just no. <laughs> right. I just wanted to, I just want to see if, if there was a workaround uh getting around that third party scenario, but unless I just grabbed their number and just did it myself by copying you know, their information and copying the text, but okay. Thanks. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Nice to see you again. Um, <laughs> Judy. Hi. Hi. Um, I, I set up uh, an email to send out to some of the leads and um, seemed like everything went to spam. I tested it on myself, tested it on a couple of people I knew, and it all went to spam. How do I avoid that? So look, uh, I think for spam has to do with the content inside of the message 
and even has to do with like subject lines, things like that, right? If it seems like it's kind of spammy, it's going to go to spam. You can help ask the uh, nerds or marketing experts to maybe help you with some of the content inside of the email message itself, right? And um, are you using, one question I have is, are you using an account that you use often? Um, brand new. I Well, I'm, I'm new, yeah. No, are you using a brand new email account, I'm asking, or is it an email account that you've had and used for a long time? It's uh, new. So there's something like called your, basically it's kind of like an email score. And if you haven't kind of like built it up or sent some emails to people, or you have like a, an email reputation and it's brand new and you just start sending emails out from it, you're more likely to end up in spam. I see. Okay. Got it. Thank you. The other thing is I came across a library with some basic, um, basic templates. How do I use that? That's cool. So uh, one second, I'm going to share with you here. We do have a library of templates that you can use if you want to build your own uh, websites. Let me just share here one sec. I'm sorry, they were email templates that I was looking at. I'm not sure then. I don't really, we don't have like a library of email templates. I, well, there was what, maybe there were messages, but there was one that said, uh, looking to expand my network. Um, and it just says, hi, you know, are you, are you looking to expand yours? I'm looking to, something like that. I think that's in sales AI. Oh, okay. Maybe. Yeah. Where if you click the email, it will, uh, there's like a library of messages here. So let me. Yeah. Yeah. But I couldn't figure, that's it. I couldn't figure out how to use it. So here, let me just get prospect. Okay. So there is a message library here. See it? Yeah, that's it. So you can open it and you can see some of the message library that's in here. Let's say I wanted to use this one. Okay. I could just select it and then that becomes the message that I send out. Okay. Is there, I see. Okay. Yep. That works. Thank you. That's very helpful. Awesome. Thanks, Judith. Great question. I right, have um, Mark be next and we're going to go ahead and end it. Mark. Wow, Mark. Can you hear me now? Hey. Ah, there we are. Okay. I had a quick question. Um, sure. I have a list of names that I purchased, and I was wondering if it's possible to use NowSite AI to search on the person, and if I found them, use the AI to craft the email and contact them that direct, that way, rather than using like a Gmail and contact them myself. You just have names, no email, no anything? Oh, well, I have their name. I think I have their phone number, email. I can't remember the rest. So can you upload that list and then uh, enhance those? You can upload that list like a CSV file um, inside of NowSite and then enhance each one of those contacts. Oh, okay. That's what I was wondering. If it's possible, yeah. somehow get the list in and NowSite and then contact them through that. So I got one source that I'm using. Sure. people. Yes, that's awesome. Good question. Okay. Oh, and I have a, uh, I'm going to paste in the uh, chat. I have a spam trigger word checker website where people can paste in their email, hit the button, and it'll kind of highlight certain trigger words. To get out of spam? Yeah, so that, that maybe you might be able to stay out of spam. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. Look, all right, we're going to go ahead and end it here for today. Remember, if you're not a part of the Brand Me Boot Camp, Go ahead and make sure that you join that brand me boot camp, right?
You want to make sure that you get it inside of there. On Thursday, we're going to have a very special webinar with our founder and CEO, Justin Bellobaba. You can join us at noon Eastern time at nowsite.online. We are going to uh, go through a, a battle update. We're going to talk about uh, instant email campaigns, as well as our brand me boot camp schedule. So you don't want to miss it. Thanks for hanging out with me and joining me here today. I'll be back tomorrow for how to Wednesday. I'll see you all again soon. Bye, everybody.